What's going on traders? This is Mike with Tactical Traders. I'm doing some scans right now and we are mid-market day. Uh, actually a little bit towards the end of it now. Around uh, 1.50 in the afternoon. And right now I'm looking at ticker symbol TNXP on the daily chart over the last year of price history. And I have been watching this ticker now for a few months. I decided to do an update on this. Um, but right now, like I said, we are on the daily over the last year. Uh, and this is pretty much what the last year is looking like. Uh, kind of flat until recently in the last couple uh, months. We've had started having some more uh, volatile movement and also more volume has came in. Uh, but now we're starting to taper off on volume, but we're still definitely seeing more than we have the last, uh, you know, in the late of last year. Um, so there's still some eyes on this and we're starting to see some bullish patterns unfold. And we're going to go through that pretty quickly in the daily chart. And before I do, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. And if you'd like to see more videos, definitely subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's zoom on up into uh, pretty much this year, uh, 2021 price history. So we saw in the beginning of the year, we went from a uh, sub penny around 70 cents all the way up to having a high of um, $2.12 up here. And that was on February the 11th. And then since then, the price has been making lower highs. Um, you know, going down, testing the 50 SMA, bouncing, testing it again, bouncing up to 200, and then making that lower high and now continuing to drift down. So we are going to be doing this in a bullish perspective. I don't recommend shorting penny stocks, even though it can be lucrative. Uh, I just do not recommend. I don't think the risk is there. So this is going to be from a bullish perspective. All right, so let's connect some of these um, lower highs here that we were just talking about and try to link up as many of these data points as we can. And it looks like that's a pretty good line right there. You can see this uh, bottom trend line coming down, it's having a uh, lower high here, here, pretty much here as well, and then here and here. Um, and now let's put in some areas of support. So we're going to change up our drawing tool. And one obvious area of support to me is right here, this, uh, let's say dollar, maybe even a little bit lower, 95 cent, 98 right here we're going to say that is going to be our area of support we're just going to change this around just so it's a little bit more clear all right so now we have um in a support line right here as well as a um, downward trend line so this right now is forming a descending triangle pattern uh, on the daily but right at the end here we had a little push through on some price action a uh, little bit of volume, nothing really much, so we're going to be keeping an eye on it. But right now, uh, we're looking to see if we can break above this trend line and really start moving out of it and getting above this uh, 50 SMA right here. Uh, after we getting, getting past that 50 SMA, that orange line around 120 to 125 area, uh, we could start to see a nice move up to our first area of resistance, which is going to be right, right about here at the one... Yeah, but 150, we'll just call it 151, 153, something right there. But that's pretty much normal. We're going to see that as a mental area of resistance for a lot of traders. Since a lot of traders have their orders around this whole numbers like $1 and 150s, stuff like that. So anyways, there's definitely some potential here. Um, another thing that we're going to want to see before this breakout happens is we're going to want to see the MACD start to turn more into the positive zone, get above that zero. Uh, then we're really going to have uh, some good momentum and should have some increased amount of volume at that point too and all at the same time we also want this rsi to start getting more above that 50 um area probably between the 50 and 60 65 areas when we could really start seeing this to prime to take off but overall where this is pretty interesting we see the macd cross over here um so you know some interesting things to see we just need to keep this support line here around the 95 to dollar mark area again whole number um, and see if we can break out of this descending triangle to retest that first resistance of dollar fifty, and then a second area of resistance of here. We're going to call it a middle at the two dollar again, a nice whole number. So very interesting setup here. Uh, very interested to see what could happen. Overall, these descending triangle patterns are a continuation pattern, and when I say continuation pattern, I mean it's going to be continuing the overall trend. And as you can see from this purple SMA, it is going slightly upwards in a bullish fashion, even though the 50 SMA is coming down a little bit. Hopefully we can get some support here and blast off into some new highs. All right, traders. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And thank you for watching. Until next time, stay profitable.